Welcome to this V1 Framework Delivery e-learning session. This is part three and the last part before we go actually into the system uh, and dive deep into each and individual thing. But in order for you to better understand what uh, we are about to see and all the different building blocks, uh, I have a little session here where we will talk about the different building blocks and how they fit together in the grander schemes of things. So in the introduction session, you might have seen this uh, slide where we on a high level talked about that it's all about a sender and a receiver, how we, how we uh, trigger things, what data it is and what actions. Now we will actually take the, nerdy, the little more nerdy version of this uh, slide and uh, together with that show some, uh, some screenshots on what the individual part looks like so it will make more sense to you as you go through what is called report definitions, report actions and so on. So let's get into it. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show a diagram of how everything works together and when we are looking at specific uh, thing uh, up here there will be a screenshot of how that thing look inside SAP so you will have a better connection between uh, architecture and uh, actual uh, screens. So everything in V1 Printer Delivery revolves about what we call a report configuration. That is essentially the binding blocks between all the other things we saw in previous slide. Uh, the report configuration screen looks like this uh, and it essentially uh, is what data type the, the the specific configuration is and what action types you can do on it. So the data types we talked about, we had uh, 42 common different types and they will all be in these categories and types. So this is one type, sales order, for example, invoices another and so on. There will also be a special category for internal, uh, which is a type uh, on itself that actually doesn't belong to specific data but more is, uh, is data that can, uh, for example, be internal data, a sales, uh, another sa a sales report across another specific business partner, another specific uh, document, but more a high level overview of data. And finally, it can also hook up to what is called custom delivery, where you actually work with data from other add-ons, user-defined fields and tables and so on. Then there's the different action types, um, which is the ones we see here, uh, what should happen on the print button, preview button, and so on. So the common action types are print, preview, email, and PDF, which we also normally call save. There's other uh, actions like add, which is, for example, if you add a sales order, what should happen uh, or out of the box instead of you needing to actually uh, go up and press a, bu a button like preview or email. Uh, word, the word button in, in SAP can be hooked up to as well, the Excel button, the fax button and the SMS button as well. And finally, there is some document printing, which is a kind of a legacy thing uh, where we can hook up to document printing in SAP. In uh, my recommendations, you should instead use what we have called mass delivery, which we talked about in the getting started series. So that is the main screen, but the screen have some dependencies as you can see with the golden arrows. And one of those dependencies is the crystal report definition. So the crystal report definition is where you define what crystal report, which is the center around all these uh, reports uh, is uh, stored. You can either store it uh, as a file or it can actually also be stored in the database. But more about that, uh, because every single box we are showing in this will have its own separate e-learning session where we talk much more about what every single little thing uh, means in, in, one, in depth. But we have one of these, and once we have that, it is linked to the crystal report here. In the same manner, we also have the various report actions. Uh, and you might say, why in the world do we have an action type here and then a report action? Uh, and at the same time, 
be able to choose them here. Well, that's because essentially this is a very open-ended system. So you could technically have that the email button printed or the print button uh, did something in uh, inside uh, Microsoft Teams. Uh, why that is, uh, when we come to some more advanced scenarios, uh, it will make more sense. Uh, but in the most cases, you uh, hook up the preview action to the show, the save action to the save, the email action to the email, and so on. But the report action is an open-ended system. Uh, if you know usability packets and its uh, universal functions, it's kind of like that. If you don't, don't worry about it. Uh, we will get into the, diff, uh, the details uh, later on. But what we can do is we can do different actions, meaning how do we want to react to this report that we created uh, using a crystal report. So we can show it, just show it to the, to the user on screen. We can save it to a, as a PDF or a Word document in, uh, in various places on our hard drives. We can email, we can print, uh, we can use what's called an HTTP trigger, meaning send something to Microsoft Teams or Slack. We can create SAP activities. We can create internal messages. Uh, and then comes some of the more advanced stuff like multiple actions, where we actually say we want to both email and print at the same time, or email and save a, doc uh, a copy. Um, we can do conditional actions, meaning you can actually go in and say, if this customer have purchased over 10,000 uh, in the invoice we are about to send, then use this crystal uh, layout, else use this crystal layout, with, a, for example, a cu coupon code in one of them. Uh, and SQL Action is mostly for uh, updating some user-defined fields that uh, take hold of what have been sent and what have, been, have not in some of the more advanced scenarios, uh, which we'll cover later on in other uh, e-learning videos. So these are all the different uh, report actions and we'll make them in this screen called report action. Then comes the triggering part. Um, and again, there's three different uh, ways. Uh, one is ad hoc triggering. You don't need to set up anything more in, in this. If you have set up a report configuration on invoice, go to the invoice screen and press, for example, the print preview button, it will launch whatever report action uh, you have set up to do to work there. Most likely the show action, which will be the one out of the box we saw in getting started. So we can essentially just react to these buttons on the screens that have been uh, marked as a data type. We can also do mass delivery uh, where we actually go in and have a master delivery configuration. And we have this configuration so you can go in and customize things like, for example, where conditions. It could be that you had invoices, but some of them are sent by EDI and the rest need to be sent out by email. Then you could filter out the EDI uh, invoices so you did never send them out during master deliveries. And the master delivery will essentially say what type, meaning what should it hit here, and what action, meaning what action type should it hit. So in this case, it would be type invoice and action email. And then it would uh, go down, find the data based on the, the configuration and send it out. With the configured thing for email, which was probably would be email in your case. Schedule works exactly in the same manner. You can see they're very much alike at the top here. Uh, but the only difference is that a, a mass delivery is where you actually initiate it, while a schedule just say, this is essentially a mass delivery on a schedule, in this case, sending out invoices every 10 minutes. The final thing in this mix is an optional thing, but uh, it could be, for example, that you don't want every single a customer getting their invoices in the same manner or with the same crystal report. Again, there is the conditional action we talked about, but that could, it could be more fundamental what you want to do. Like for example, certain business partners should just have this and writing that into a conditional action could be a, a hassle. So there is something called a report selection system. 
where you can go in and set some selection orders in there because the, the different triggers will just send the data in here and this would then know oh this business partner have been set up to use a different layout than or different report configuration than the one that was actually uh, in here uh, so uh, we could for example set up uh, business partner special business partner goes do something that's what sap can do but we can go even further like having a user defined field as i have here on the business partner that's called delivery method and if the delivery method is email let's choose the report configuration that do, does email else let's take take the one that does printing for example so it's an optional uh, thing um, less and less people do it because uh, you want to streamline more and more and automate more and more with, with emails, but it is possible to actually have a master delivery, have 100 uh, invoices to be sent, and based on this uh, report selection, have that 90, 90 of those 100 uh, invoices are sent by email, and the last 10 is out in the printer uh, using the report selection override system. So that is the building blocks. Uh, it might be a bit too high level right now, but we will for, we will have a video for each of these boxes uh, in detail, uh, so you can slowly begin to, to figure this out. Uh, but again, the get, getting started video plus this should give you a higher uh, the overview now in order to actually go in and go from the out of the box sessions to actually have a fully customizable system. So with that, thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day.